We are currently living in the dawn of the smart city. Sooner than we can imagine, data will be flowing from our devices, to our homes, to our streets, to our buildings, and so much more. But with major changes to our infrastructure must come a new way of building for contractors changing on all these ambitious projects. Here to tell us all about it is Carlo Ratti, director of MIT Sensibility City Lab and founder of the Carlo Ratti Association. Carlo, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So, Carlo, when you and I have talked in the past, you always like to talk about things as being a sensible city. Let's talk about what that means to you. Well, um, you know, today is a very interesting time in cities. Um, all of those technologies that changed our lives over the past uh, 10, 20 years, they're now entering physical space. It's about the internet becoming internet of things. And as such, it's transforming so many dimensions of, uh, of urban life. And it's about mobility, it's about uh, waste, water, energy, public participation. So all of these components of urban life are being transformed by Internet of Things. So in describing that, how will our cities look, let's say, in the next 10, 20, maybe even 50 years from now? Now, um, first of all, sorry to disappoint you. No, I don't think the cities will look terribly different than what they look today. Um, you know, in the, same, in the same way as uh, the city... In Roman times, so in Middle Ages, it uh, doesn't look that different than how it looks today. You know, we, we, we need horizontal floors for living. We need facades to protect us from the outside. We need windows in order to look outside. Um, but what will be very, very different is actually the way life will, uh, will happen in those spaces. So maybe the physical city will not change that much, but, uh, but the, the city in terms of the life of the citizens will be radically different. How do you, what do you mean by that? I mean, you know, anything, think about, you know, already today, the way, you know, we move in a city, how different it is, thanks to systems such as Uber, Lyft, and so on. You know, and all of this is going to change immensely with self-driving cars. It's just one example of how, you know, life in the city is going to be radically redefined by Internet of Things. Will we see things different in the way, when you describe Uber, will it be the way we get around transportation-wise, the way we communicate with our buildings, with, with all of that environmentally is the way you're describing it? Yeah, yeah, the, the application are really manifold. It's about, you know, mobi if you think about mobility, um, you know, with self-driving car, it becomes interesting because the car can give you a lift in the morning when you go to your office. They can give a lift to somebody else in your family or to anybody else in the city. So you're creating a new mobility system in between public and private transportation. And, um, and, you know, if you take a city such as New York or Paris uh, or Milan or Singapore, a bigger city or a smaller city, theoretically, with that type of system, you could run the city, take everybody to destination when they need to be there with just a fraction of the vehicles we, we have today. So just one example out of many of how, you know, these new technologies, in particular, Internet of Things and artificial intelligence can have a huge impact on our urban life. Will we be rebuilding our cities in a different way or will we be using vast amount of data to help us give this new city that you described? Well, as I was saying, you know, the, the key impact will start most likely with uh, the way we move in the city, the way we deal with many aspects of the city. So it's more about, you know, the way of living the city than the physical city itself. But then, you know, when you look at uh, this in the longer term, then uh, we will probably need some changes to the infrastructure itself. Um, and if you think about the city of the 20th century, there's no doubt that the city of the 20th century was really shaped by the automobile. And in a similar way, the city of the 21st century will be shaped by the new mobility systems that are, are starting today. And let me give you just one example. You know, today in the United States, a car is used 4 or 5 percent of the time. 95, 96 percent of the time is actually not only it's not used, but it uses valuable space in our cities. Uh, it's parked somewhere. And, uh, you know, if you change just a little bit those percentages, thanks to self-driving car, that means that theoretically we can reclaim so much space in our cities, so much parking space. As a matter of fact, at the moment we are involved in a design of a tower in Singapore, a very tall building, uh, and we're thinking about the parking space from the beginning as something that could be transformed tomorrow. So we're doing a distance between floors a bit higher than usual, and we're putting the ramps outside the parking space. So tomorrow those spaces, if we need less parking in the city, could be reused for other activities. So that's just one small example of how, you know, of how, for instance, parking might change significantly 
when uh, when you look at the city, which is run by driverless vehicles. Well, we have a lot of connected vehicles that you described because of this. You t described Uber and other things. Will we have a lot of other connected city services as a result of this? Um, I think, you know, all of this is really the result of Internet of Things and distributed artificial intelligence. You know, the, the, the impact is going to be many folds, but mobility, yes, we'll have many vehicles. I think also we'll get many different four factors. As a matter of fact, in the next issue of Scientific American, we have an article where we talk about this, about really how so the form factor of vehicles could change because of these technologies. Um, but the same thing, you know, that you, when you look at mobility, the same things, the same changes can also happen in many other dimensions. Uh, again, you know, energy, waste, water, um, you know, citizen participation. Uh, if you think about industry, it's, uh, you know, Internet of Things is bringing uh, this new world is opening up this new world of industry 4.0. So all of these dimensions of our cities are going to be affected. Carlo, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. All Have right, a great well, day. You too. Well, that's our Learn It for today.